Hi, it's Claire here from Hummingbird. Um, everybody's writing a little poem or or um, making a picture or doing a TikTok dance. And uh, so I just thought, well, it was, maybe it's my turn. Um, I might do all three. But I did write a poem. It was going to be a little poem, but it's actually turned out to be quite long. Um, so I'm going to read it to you anyway. Um, there is a swear word in it. I'm just going to just point that out and you can switch off if you want to um, and I am also proudly dyslexic so I have no idea how this is going to go but I'm just going to go with it anyway okay so my poem is called Tales of 2020 so far so here's my little poem about these times we're in how life it changed so quickly now where do I begin it was only just a short time that we visited and hugged, had restaurant meals together, cocktails and bills we, beers, beers we glugged, jumped on a plane to holiday or on a bus to go to shop. Schools were full of children, unaware it's all to stop. At first we saw in China, then Italy and France, some ignored the rising risk, continued in a trance. Divided in opinion now, mums seemed to worry first, but slowly people stopped and saw as the virus just got worse. Government was slow to act. Just wash your hands, Boz said. Sing happy birthday then again, and in shaking hands he led. Treated as a herd at first, we felt there was no care. Just left alone to catch the bug, it didn't seem that fair. Parents pulled their kids from school, old people stayed at home, panic buying rising up, anxiety shaped the tone. Empty shells and greediness felt like the start of war. I remember feeling very shocked, like nothing I knew before. Boris then started daily briefs, the country paused at five, waiting for the numbers of those of us who had died. We heard of people passing with no one by their side, except an angel of a nurse, and we fell to our knees and cried. Hoping desperately that our kin do not fall ill to this, we recognised that life before, we'd lived in ignorant bliss. Isolated in our homes, it was initially quite hard, but blessings soon we noticed in things like our backyard. We clapped the first week on Thursday with a few neighbours and a tin. By week six, the whole street came and together we made a din. We clap for nurses, doctors, for the NHS so dear. For carers, drivers, shop workers, the true heroes are now clear. The rich want us back to work to make their profits grow. But the real backbone of the world is beginning now to show. And they're the people doing as their governments have said. Those working still or furloughed making rainbows and banana bread. The children are our pride, doing schoolwork at the table, trusting all us adults to keep their futures stable. They accept that parks are closed and we shop just once a week. They keep our spirits buoyant when the curve and news are bleak. Our older people are inside dealing with being apart. Their dignity and bravery pours love into our hearts. Our loved ones have found routes to keep in touch each day, video calls and group quiz nights. We each have found our way to connect us to each other, to the world around us too. We've realised we are vulnerable. You need me and I need you. Then one day we'll all look back and wonder what we've learned when COVID-19 changed our lives, when upside down we turned. Old issues you can leave behind. So when things open up again, take your precious time right now to explore the centre of your pain. Have you been too busy or tried too hard to impress? Body issues or addiction or allowing too much stress? Wrong job or relationship? Not knowing what to do? Pleasing others all the time? Or not trying something new? Are you holding in far too much of your feelings or your woes? Now's the time to let them out and just see how it goes. So tomorrow is another day, not guaranteed for sure. Grab your life, your love, your heart and enjoy it all much more. Then comfort those with heartache and make a promise to each person we have sadly lost will live fully just for you. And when history books are printed with the towels of 2020, 
the stories about human love, of them where there will be plenty. So now I wait quite patiently to see my loved ones' faces, to run towards them crying, falling into their embraces. Nature loves zoom and claps, veggies grown from seed, keeping distant, soap and masks for now, that's all we need. Lastly, a message to the bug that things that thinks it's got good luck, but all you did was heal our globe. So off with Trump, you fuck.